722. For all the saints who from their labor rest to thee by faith before the world confess your name, O Jesus. Be forever blessed. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. 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 Pause now to ask God's mercy. <clears throat> you were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who raised up the Bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 They read the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in, in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. All you nations praise the Lord. All, All you nations, nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Glory Glory nations, praise the Lord. Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the most high Lord. Glory all you nations, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. They shall note, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My poem is within you. All, All you nations, praise, praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, 
How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Church continues to grow and to become enriched even in the midst of persecution and the many difficulties that they face. In fact, it is once again a testimony to the saying that Paul will place in his reading from the Ephesus, Ephesus I believe, that God works all things, all things out to our good. So even the things that are are, are evil and difficult in life, the trials, the tribulations, God works all those things out for the good. And so it is that Stephen's uh, martyrdom and everyone being dispersed, as it says in the Acts of the Apostles, fleeing from the persecution, settling in other places, forcing people like Barnabas to go and to take care of them, and in doing so, more people come to believe and the church grows. Paul, who was once a persecutor, comes and joins him and preaches in Antioch. The church is really beginning to be formed and it's first called Christian instead of just the way as a different way of Judaism. It becomes in, in name something much different. So it is that the church continues throughout all of history even during times when there are things that are evil that befall from within or without causes the Holy Spirit to lead the church providentially, to lead us providentially in the way that God wishes to bring us all to salvation. There is no stopping what God has begun. And so we should be filled with confidence and trust to know that not only in the life of the church, but in our lives, there is no stopping what God has begun. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> Let us now bring our prayers before the Lord, whose voice we follow. For church leaders, may they continue to be filled with the Holy Spirit and grow in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all nations, <clears throat> may they be united by the Holy Spirit in praise of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who struggle to follow, let alone, let alone hear the voice of Jesus. May the Spirit open their ears and hearts to its truth, beauty, and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all, all who in this faith community, who receive the sacraments of initiation this Easter season, may the Lord help them remain faithful to him with firmness of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all the souls of the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, Rest in eternal peace, especially Ginny Lewis, being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? Good and gracious God, look with kindness upon the prayers we have offered, for we offer them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Yes. 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 Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For as on the festival of St. Athanasius you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Ginny, being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with St. Athanasius, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Bought by our Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with St. Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing the second verse of number 722. Oh, bless communion, fellowship divine. We feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one within your great design. Alleluia. Good day, all. You too,